Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of you guys have been asking how to make Rocket League maps work in multiplayer. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. It's going to be a really easy tutorial, basically showing you how to set up all the programs you need to set up, and then place all the files we need to place, and then basically just load up the game in a, in a local match and play with your friends. So the way that this is done is you use two different programs, and I'll load them up for you real quick. So we have Rocket Launcher, and it's currently in version 3.4, and we have Log Me and Amachi. I've blocked a few of the the information that's on the screen here because it has like private IPs and stuff like that for the VPNs. But basically, the idea is you take Log Me and Amachi, and you create a fake local network using a VPN, and then that VPN allows you to like load up a local match. Basically, what you can do is you can run a game of Rocket League and load up a server on your own client and your teammates can, or your friends can join with you uh, and play whatever map you load up. And the idea of Rocket Launcher is you basically map swap, allow Rocket League to connect to a certain IP, which this is just the default that shows up here. Or you can set up some lo loaded mods and stuff like that, but like for now, I'm just gonna show you how to connect uh, a certain map and play with an IP. So before we get into how to use these, why don't we show you how to get them? And the original way so far is to Go on to rocketleaguemods.com and find Rocket Launcher, and then you're, you're going to have to sign up. I've signed up through Steam and all that stuff, and download it from here. I think I'm going to include a link in the description for a zip folder with all of the stuff you need and where to put all the stuff. So for Rocket Launcher, all you have to do is download the file after you've set up your account on Rocket League Mods. And then what you want to do is you want to find a folder you want to place it in, and I've created it on my desktop as called RL Launcher. And once you put it in here and uh, have it loaded, you're going to want to run this as administrator. And so I have it set so it always runs as administrator when I open it, and that helps me uh, speed up the process of loading up maps. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Rocket Launcher 3.4, and you're going to want to go to this MISC uh, tab here. And what this is, is it's going to allow you to find the workshop textures. I've already opened it up on the second tab here, but it's going to link you to this. And once again, just make sure you're logged in and then download these files. These files are some external textures that allow these maps to have some textures to it and also work with some of the default templates for the maps. I'm not exactly sure how it all works, but I've, I've talked to some of the map creators that have worked with this tool set, and basically it's required to make sure that there's no content mismatch when you load up the map, map with other players. Once you've downloaded the textures, what you're going to want to do is go to where you've downloaded Rocket League on your Steam apps. You want to go to Steam apps, common, then go down to Rocket League. Got a lot of stuff on here. <laughs> Uh, then TA game and cook PC console. This mods folder won't be here. That's just for my map creating and stuff like that and testing maps. But the idea is you drag all of the UPK files and all of the stuff that you extract from that zip folder and place them in here. Once you've done that, you can close out of the cooked PC console. And all you need for the final tool is log me in Hamachi. So for log me in Hamachi, all you do is go to vpn.net. You're going to want to download Hamachi, install it on your computer. Once you load up Hamachi, all you're going to have to do is sign up uh, for an account. Just make your email and password, all that stuff. And then make sure this power button is on. Right now it says to select power off, so I have it on right now. For the host of the player lobby, you're going to want to go to network and create new network. And what you do here is you just type in some network ID. So map creation test. It's going to have to be unique, so it might not work, but just make a password for your teammates to join in, and they're going to join into the lobby by joining an existing network. So if they click joining an existing network, they're going to find the network ID, so you put in the same thing, map creation test, for example, with the same password, whatever it is. You're going to hit join, and what's going to happen is you're going to find a lobby like this, so you can see RL memory, that's like memory and my friends that we're playing. Uh, it's a lobby of five. Uh, for Hamachi, the regular size is 5. Uh, it doesn't matter because you can always make it a second network. As long as you guys are co uh, connected to the host, you can always connect through several of these lobbies. And so there's going to be a, a bunch of names here of the people that have joined your lobby. After everyone has joined your lobby, you're going to want to find this number that's under, like, underneath the black area that I've blocked on the screen since it's my own IP. And you're going to want to right click it and then hit copy IPv4 address. There's an IPv6, ignore that one, just make sure you have IPv4. And this is the one that your friends all need to use. They need to use the host's numbers. Everyone has their own number, we want to make sure that the host is using their number for everyone else. So whoever is hosting the lobby, that IPv4 address has to be copied by every single player and then placed in this IP address here. But before doing so, you want to make sure that you download WinPCAP. 
It's gonna show up at the bottom here. I've already sh like tried downloading it a few times. But you're basically gonna want to keep that and then run the MSI or the EXE. It's gonna download the drivers necessary to run a VPN on your computer uh, through Rocket League. And then you're gonna wanna paste the IPv4 address, like I said, in here and then hit run. Once you do that, it should say running, go to play, play local, join local lobby in Rocket League. So far what we've set up is the ability to play a local match and have everyone join in your lobby through Hamachi and the direct IP here with win PCAP set up on your computer. The only thing left to do now is to go to map swapper and we want to refresh this a few times just to make sure it works. Open up this and then choose any of the names of the maps that you want to test out. So for example, if I want to test out um, Dojo, which is a new map, we can hit swap and it should say map success. Underpass should now load up Dojo, which means that if you choose the map Underpass, the map Dojo will be replaced with it. If we quickly load up Rocket League and check through Play Local, Host Local Lobby, this is what I was talking about. No name and password here. I'm loading up Underpass, and what should happen is that Dojo will show up instead. And here we are. So I'm in a local lobby right now, and if anyone was to join through the local lobby system, who was connected through my Hamaji and had my IP set up in the direct IP, this would happen. They would jump in this match with me. That's all it takes. And then you just basically set up the local lobby match settings as much as you want, and then you're good to go. So I hope that was quick and easy to understand. I, I, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the future. Um, I definitely want more people to jump into modding and mapping and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun to create. I'm going to be doing some tutorials on how I create the maps as well in the future. And I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.